Hello everyone, I welcome you all to today's uh, session on uh, the question discussion wherein we will be discussing questions of uh, slightly uh, better quality, higher difficulty level. Right. Uh, so the question that I have for you today is uh, the question on uh, this equations, particularly special equations. Let us have a look at this. Just like any other video, here also pause the video, try it out yourself, tell me what the answer is, right? Uh, just have your answer ready and then listen to the rest of the explanation. Let's look at this. Find the number of integral values at x comma y. Can take x as z, x less than or equal to y and 1 by x plus 1 by y is equal to 1 by 10. Now, when I write 1 by x plus 1 by y is equal to 1 by 10, now the same thing can also be written as after simplification by taking LCM x plus y by x into y equals 1 by 10. When you cross multiply and bring all the terms on one side, you can see that the expression you will be left with is cross multiplication xy minus 10 into x minus 10 into y equals 0. From the first two terms, I will try to take x common, I will be left with y minus 10. Now from here if I take, if, if basically if I want a y here, I need to take minus 10 common, I will get a y. But along with y, I need a minus 10 also. So to have a minus 10 here, please understand, I need plus 100 here. So from these two terms, if I take minus 10 outside common, I will be left with 1y and I will be left with minus 10. So I need this plus 100, let us add 100 on both the sides of the equation. So when I do that, this will change this equation will change into this. Okay. Next, y minus 10 common, I will be left with x minus 10. Now since x and y are integral values, integer values, x minus 10 and y minus 10 are also going to be integer values. So that means product of two integers is becoming 100. In how many ways can we write that? So one of the ways could be you put one of them as 1 and the other as 100. But one thing to understand is the value of x should be less than or equal to y. So if x is less than or equal to y, that naturally means x minus 10 will be less than or equal to y minus 10. So thus when you are putting in values, give y minus 10 a higher value. So I can write as 100 into 1 okay, like this right? or I can write as 50 into 2 right? or I can write as 25 into 4 right? or I can write as 20 into 5 or I can write as uh, next 20 into 5. 6 won't work, 8 won't work, 7 won't work, 9 won't work, 10, 10 into 10. Okay. Now if you take one particular pair here, see what do we get? So if you take this pair, y minus 10 is 100 would mean y will be equal to 100 plus 10, isn't it? x minus 10 equal to 1 would mean x is equal to 10 plus 1, which is 11. This is one possible solution, acceptable solution because x is less than or equal to y. Similarly, you will get another acceptable solution here when you will solve it, right? Similarly, you will get one more here, one more here, one more here. So here you will get y equal to 20, x equal to 20. Right? So both are equal. That's also an acceptable solution. So, so far we got five solutions. Right? One more here, which I'm not writing. I hope you can write it down yourself. Now let's write it down. x equal to 10 plus 4, 14. Here, y equal to 20 plus 10, 30 x will be equal to 15. So these are the five solutions. Now one thing that we need to realize here is he is asking us for integral values. He is not specifying natural number. So that means that means the value of x and y is not necessarily positive. It could be negative also. So if you want to keep that negative, we could also think of product of two integers as 100 as we could put values as minus 1 and minus 100 also minus 1 into minus 100 will also give us this, right? So this will give us what? y minus 10 equal to minus 1 would mean y is 10 minus 1, 9. x is minus 100 plus 10, minus 90. Okay? So this will again give us a solution when again x is less than or equal to y. It will work. Minus 2, minus 50. This will give me one more solution. I am not writing it down right now. Minus 4, minus 25 will give me one more solution minus 5, minus 20 will give me one more, which I am not writing now. Now minus 10, minus 10 will not give us any solution because in this case, you will get the value of y as 0, right? Minus 10 and this minus 10 cancels out. x also as 0. 
but if you put x and y are zero that won't be an acceptable solution because x and y are appearing in denominator and denominator of any equation can never be zero right it's not defined so thus we won't take this so how many solutions are there if you just plainly count them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 there will be nine solutions for this so the answer is nine for this however just a small thought here Finally, I get the equation like this, right? x minus 10 into y minus 10 is 100, right? So basically, product of two integers is becoming 100. Now, in how many ways can we write a number as product of two factors? Let's assume them to be positive. So can I say the answer for that is nothing but simply f by 2, all right? And since this number is a perfect square itself, it will be that f plus 1 by 2 or f minus 1 by 2. I am using the concept of numbers here. So number of factors of 100 is 2 square into 5 square. So number of factors will be 2 plus 1, 3 into 3, 9. So this is 9. My number of ways will be 9 plus 1 by 2, which is 5 ways. So there are 5 different ways that, that we see here also, which will give us one solution each. Now why only one solution? Because the factors could be split in a particular way y minus 10 should be greater than or equal to x minus 10. It can never be the other way around. So each of the ways will give me one solution. Similarly, there will be five ways for negative. But out of this five ways, we can visualize, we can uh, try to understand this, that minus 10 into minus 10 will not work out. So thus we could directly say, if number of factors is nine, if number of factors is nine, number of ways will turn out to be five. Right? And my answer straight away, straight away in this case, right, is going to be, so ideally what should have happened? Ideally what should have happened is number of ways is 5. So each way should have given me two solutions. Each way should have given me two solutions. But right now only take one. Out of two I will take only one. So 5 into 2 by 2 will give me five solutions. When I am taking the case as positive. Besides that, besides that, there will be case of negative factors also. That will be five ways again. That will be five ways again. But out of this five ways, out of this five ways, please understand, we'll only take four. Why? Because uh, one case is rejected. So five plus four again will give us the same answer as nine. All right. I hope we are clear with this question. The answer should be option choice A. So with that, I come to the end of the video for today. Thank you and all the very best.